Hi there, Sandy here. Welcome to another jewelry making video at KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today I have for you a sweet little pair of earrings using Czech glass beads. As with many of the designs you know I love, this one is infinitely customizable. So here are a few of the things that I've assembled to make these earrings. It all started with these little Czech glass beads. These are called the small bell flower and the color is cranberry. And I thought they were just really pretty. You could use these as dangles on just about anything, and today I've made a pair of earrings. Really super simple here. All you need is some head pins to dangle your flowers, and then some eye pins to dangle other things. I've chosen these little freshwater pearls and some crystal round dolls. Like I said in the intro, this is infinitely customizable. You can do so many different things. I really like the uh, look of the little freshwater pearls dangling out the end of the flower. But like I did on this dangle, it looks really pretty with just the plain ball head pin too. So you can decide how many of each that you want to do. I'm going to use my one step looper today to make the loops. And because this is fairly fine gauge wire, it won't close the loop entirely. And that's okay, you just come in with your chain nose pliers you can also use some round nose pliers if it needs to be adjusted. If you want to learn more about the one step loopers, which is really a favorite tool of mine, I made a whole video talking about how to use them. So you can make your flower dangles with head pins, like I've done here, and I made three, with or without other beads dangling at the ends. And then the procedure is the same. You just slide a bead onto an eye pin to make connectors and then use the one step looper in the exact same way. And that just makes a piece with a loop on each end and that will connect things. So what I've done here is kept it very simple. For the center dangle, I've attached a connector with a crystal. To that one, I've attached a connector with a pearl. For the dangles on the sides, I did one with a crystal and one with a pearl. Of course, you can keep going, adding as many dangles as you like. You could even use the flower beads as a dangle in the middle if you wanted to and have several stacked up on a single strand. What I've done is I've attached them all to one of these 10 millimeter gold plated rings. This is a twisted ring and it's been soldered, which is nice so that I'll know that it's very secure. And you just attach all of your loops to the ring and I put the longest one in the middle. Mine is somewhat symmetrical, mostly symmetrical, but you could make it less so. You could add more dangles. Here you can see I've gone ahead and finished adding these dangles and then after looking at it and thinking about it, I decided I wanted more. So I made two more dangles with some more of the flower beads. One has a pearl and that one's going to go on this side between the, uh, the two crystals and one doesn't have a pearl and it's going to go between the two pearls. Not that it matters greatly but it just makes me happy to kind of have it balanced. But there you have it. You can customize this so many different ways, add as many dangles as you want, add as many different lengths. Another really pretty look would be to attach the flower beads to the ends of different lengths of chain and have, it, have them hanging down from either the ear wire or from a ring like this. So have fun finding some really pretty beads and designing yourself a nice pair of earrings. If you're interested in the supplies I used, click on the little eye in the upper right of the video or the link in the description box to go to my blog post where I always have a complete supply list with links to products. If you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to do so. And if you like these videos and find them helpful, take a look at my Patreon page and see how you can help out and help keep them coming for everybody. Happy creating. Bye-bye.